chairman of the beverage giant Clifford Reese made the announcement on Saturday at the company's annual general meeting at Thirst Park. Recognizing that Guyana is rapidly changing, Reese said that the company is on the verge of introducing new services to its consumers. The motto of this subsidiary will be the future of transportation and alternative energy. The chairman, Ford, added that the company is always looking for innovative ways and ideas to better the lives of all Guyanese. We will place for that experience of being satisfied within the vision of our company, for the future and the challenges of a diversified business model. We cannot and should not cultivate the questionable luxury of thinking that we have accomplished more than we have accomplished. The good book reminds us that this year will bring its own challenges. Let us be prepared to respond to those challenges by continuing to build a secure foundation that already exists, which is our bridge to the future. Reese disclosed that the company continues to demonstrate stability and growth despite many challenges. For the greater part of the year just ended, we were challenged to adjust the impact the rights and human rights we had in the company revenues. This challenge, among others, requires equipment management of our financial and human resources. Investments in capital equipment continue to the company for the period just ended. We completed the installation of the increased storage capacity for portable water and equipment to accommodate the increased production for ice cream products and new flavors of frost products. At Saturday's AGM, shareholders were told that. Banks VIH Group had a successful financial year in 2019, and as such, revenue generated by the company was $29.5 billion compared to $27.4 billion in 2018, which shows a 7.8% increase. The profit after tax for the company increased from $4 billion to $4.5 billion, reflecting an increase of $439 million, or 10%. Reporting for the Evening News, I am Shamar Allen.